It's teacher Karen again and I'm happy to be back for another day of fun helping you learn. For today's lesson, we will be talking about some important parts of our body. And these are our sense organs. So if you are ready, come and join me and let's begin. Our topic is all about the five senses of the human body. These are the five senses of the human body. Sense of sight. Sense of hearing. Sense of taste. Sense of smell. And the eyes are our organ for the sense of sight. Using our eyes, we can read a book. We can watch TV. Our ears are our organs for the sense of hearing. Using our ear, we can hear a boy singing. We can also hear the birds chirping and the sound of a drum being played. Our ears are our organs for the sense of hearing. Our tongue is our organ for the sense of taste. Using our tongue, we can tell if a food is bitter, salty, sour, or sweet. The nose is our organ for the sense of smell. Using our nose, we can smell flowers. We can also smell perfume. We can even smell foods. And how about our hands? Our hands are our organs for the sense of touch. We use our hands to tell if things are rough or if they are smooth. We also use our hands to tell if a thing is soft, like that of a pillow, or if it is hard like that of now using our sense of sight we can actually look at things at a short distance this, this girl here is looking at her car at a long distance using our sense of sight let's see which picture shows looking from a short distance and which picture shows looking from a long distance? Let's start with picture A. What does picture A show? Is it looking from a short distance or from a long distance? Let's find out. Picture A shows looking from a long distance. How about picture B? What does it show? Let's find out. Picture B shows looking from a short distance. Remember kids, objects from a short distance appear bigger, while objects from a long distance appear to be smaller. You are doing a great job kids. You are learning very fast. Now remember, you have activities on pages 15 to 16 of your science book to answer. Have a good day! That's all for today, kids. I hope you did, you did have fun. Don't forget, you have to take a photo of the activities that you have answered and send it back to teacher. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!